Hi everyone, my name is Anna Albee. I'm running for Cincinnati City Council. I live here in Massonville where I'm on the Community Council. I'm also the former local group lead for Moms Demand Action. I am former only because I had to step down to run for office. I am also the vice president of the Hamilton County Young Democrats, a voter registration advocate for the Ohio Young Democrats, a ward chair and precinct executive for the Hamilton County Democratic Party. I'm also endorsed Democrat for city council. I uh, also completed Lead Ohio, and I am a 2023 uh, fellow for the New Leaders Council. So with that, let's get into the questions. Question one is around police training programs. So let's start with this. Everyone wants to be safe in their community. To me, that is the basic function of local government. A key component to ensuring our residents feel safe in Cincinnati is fostering strong relationships between the police and the community. I am a big supporter of police tra training that, de em that emphasizes de-escalation and fosters understanding between police officers and residents. That's why I fully support the efforts of ABLE, EPIC, which stands for Ethical Policing is Courageous, and Alternative Response to Crisis, also known as ARC. Personally, I've been absolutely thrilled by the results of the ARC pilot program and the decision to expand it. Already in 2023, ARC has freed up uh, well over 3,000 police hours by responding to almost 1,000 incidents. ARC is a safer, more efficient way to respond to nonviolent incidents, especially when there's a mental health crisis. On City Council, I will push for continued investment into programs such as ABLE, EPIC, and the continued expansion and utilization of ARC. In addition, I will advocate for our police force to look like the community it represents and for the continued use of best practices and de-escalation, a duty to intervene, and requiring comprehensive reporting. Because in the end, we want to have a best-in-class police force to protect and serve all our residents. Question two is about the collaborative agreement and citizen complaint authority. Community trust is a vital part of ensuring smart and effective policing. The foundation for building that trust is accountability. Our offer, officers carry immense responsibility and I fully support the collaborative agreement and the work of the citizen complaint authority or CA, CCA. The Cincinnati collaborative agreement is best in class. It's a best in class plan to improve police community relations and has set the standard nationally for that kind of work. We are absolutely grateful for the amazing work Cincinnati PD does every day to keep us safe. The work of the collaborative agreement and the CCA has continued to push CPD to new heights, aiming for the highest standard of policing in the nation. It's because of the legacy of the collaborative agreement that we have improvements such as body cameras, um, and the Domestic Violence Enhanced Response Team, uh, which is a unique partnership between CPD and Women Helping Women to provide resources to survivors of abuse. I believe the work of the Citizens Complaint Authority is absolutely critical, and we as a city should continue to work hard to make sure that CCA is fully funded. Question three is around housing and other community approaches to public safety. I come from a gun violence prevention background. I'm proud of the work I've done in collaboration with city council, the mayor, law enforcement, and community partners to promote gun safety as part of Moms Demand Action. And while there are a lot of things we can do to pass legislation aimed at tackling gun violence, the thing I've learned the most in this space is that for us to truly foster a safe community, we have to ensure folks have access to good paying jobs so they can afford to have a roof over their head, fresh food on the table, access to health care, and to make sure we're investing in youth programs and education. Uh, sadly, some of the youth violence we've seen this summer has involved kids who are couch surfing and don't have a safe place to go home to at night. As a city, we need to ensure we continue investing in organizations such as Lighthouse that targets youths who are unhoused, but more broadly that we are continuing to invest with the Community Development Fund to build more housing. And when I talk about health care, that includes preventative health care for medical, dental, and vision, as well as reproductive health and mental health care. We need to continue investing in promoting our community health centers and finding creative ways to provide easier access to mental health care through our schools and rec centers. I'm laser focused on tackling gun violence in Cincinnati, and that means taking on these broader systemic issues to ensure that every resident has the opportunity to thrive. 
question four is around the effect of youth programming on public safety. So while overall violent crime in Cincinnati is down, we've seen a frightening increase in youth gun violence this summer. This, that heartbreaking trend will take long-term investments to see progress and make improvement. Investments directly into youth programming, such as mentoring, extracurriculars, and sports, uh, and youth employment. These investments are critical. To name an example near and dear to my heart, the Q Kids Dance Team welcomes over 100 kids each year into their studio. Q Kids provides these kids with an opportunity to express themselves, and more importantly, teaches them life skills, confidence, and discipline. Many of them go on to dance in college. Having that kind of stability and outlet is so important. That's why I'm a huge proponent of Cincinnati's Boots on the Ground Fund, which awards grants to local organizations working specifically across youth and workforce developments, violence prevention, healthcare access, food insecurity, and homelessness prevention. On City Council, I will advocate for increased funding for the Boots on the Ground Fund in hopes of supporting more of our grassroots organizations dedicated to supporting the community, especially those investing in our kids. I think that's all the questions. Thank you all so much for your time. Again, my name is Anna Albee.